Well, uh, the, uh, the big platforms seem to have a lot of power because, as they say, information is, is power and they have a lot of information about us. That is to say, we who think that we are the users of these wonderful services that are provided by Google uh, uh, or Facebook and so on and so forth for free, uh, but uh, of course in reality we are not the users, we are the raw material or our data is the raw material which is used by the platforms, uh, they sell it to the advertisers and other people who are interested uh, and, uh, and, and make a huge profit. So that, uh, I don't know, I mean of course uh, as a user uh, I value tremendously the opportunity to, uh, to get all the information at my fingertips. I mean, uh, several decades ago, when I did a, you know, some research, I, uh, I had to go to the library and spend a lot of time. I had to order books from abroad, and, and uh, it took time and so on and so forth. Now it's all here, and I, have, I value it, but, but I, at the same time, at the same time, I'm, uh, I have my doubt about the use of the, of the, uh, of the material, of the data. So uh, it's, uh, it's potentially dangerous, I would say, especially if this data will be used, uh, you know, by, you know, for political, uh, in fact, they have been used, I mean, Cambridge Analytica and all that, so that, uh, that I'm, uh, there's actually a good book about this, which is written by Shoshana Zuboff uh, early this year. And um, she points out the, what she calls cyber, no, she calls it surveillance capitalism. And, uh, and uh, she makes good points there.